Hey guys, Tixbark here with another video review and this time we'll be looking at the Star Wars Black Series figure number 9 R2D2. These are the, oh, I can't remember, I think the 6 inch uh, scale figures, although R2D2 isn't 6 inches, but anyway, here's R2D2. Um, I will show off the box, but I did record the box and everything on it and, um, well, I deleted it when I opened it and I've thrown the box away, so here's a picture of the box sorry about that guys but anyway that's a picture of the box so here's out of D2 um, the only accessories he comes with are his um, thrusters on the side which you saw him use them for the first time uh, in Star Wars Episode 2 uh, I don't think he used them um, after that when in the glow factory um, that's the only accessories I've got. I'll show you how the fasten accessories. It works better if you have them configured like this. There's no configuration for him, but I'll show that in a minute. There is like a a hole in there, and then you've got the clear bit, you've got tabs, and that just tabs right in there. Like that, and the same on this side. And there's R2D2 here, and he's like thruster mode. You know. So yeah, take them off for the other configuration. Um, he has wheels underneath there, all there, you know that, that's pretty cool. Uh, when you get this, I don't think it comes with any instructions, but um, don't try and pull this leg out like that, because, um, I'll show for a minute. Basically what you need to do is move his legs backwards, there's like, kind of like a clicky thing inside there when you do it. You got don't pull it all the way back because it sits there and then do the same on this side so it clicks back so it's round about the same height and then his head you twist no you twist his head like so and his other foot comes out to about there so it's nice face forward and then there's his other configuration like so around with it to trust to try and get in so his sort of feet. There you go. And he rolls on his wheels and he's got his well thing. You can turn his head left and right but not too much because he's, he'll lose his other foot in the middle but you can do that. Yeah. Um, pretty cool. None of the panels open up or anything but it's, it's extreme detail for a, a figure this um, size. Um, I like it, it's really cool. His, uh, I'd call it his eye. You've got his sensor thing that moves around, but it doesn't move around on the figure. you got vents, lights, all the, all the paintwork's pretty cool. You do have a gap all the way through there, but it's a toy, what do you expect? All things across there, uh, where um, Luke's lightsabers come from. Vents across there, you've got another sensor on this side, you've got panel lines all the way through it, moulded in. And I didn't know this, but it looks like his his whole body is just like a round bin shape, but well, it's actually not. It's flat on each side. If you're into that, you've got panel lines in there, you've got a socket in there, you've got some more. It's pretty really real, actually, for a toy like this. His legs have got all moulded in. Um, this the leg piece here is soft plastic so it is bendable so be careful when you're moving it make sure you move it here i may have moved it there but that's me um this moves here you've got a little wheel underneath there this is wire i think for his tire his leg up there and then his leg piece moves you've got molding detail there and it is pretty cool and it rolls once you get everything situated properly it can roll and move his head, it's pretty cool. You can have them attached while he's in that mode as well, but it doesn't look great. It looks really cool. I've always wanted an R2D2 toy, I never got one, and I finally got one. Here's the size comparison Cliff Jumper, Bumblebee, not Bumblebee, uh, R2D2. As you can see, it's slightly smaller than that, but it's a decent size. Um, I wasn't going to look at the Black Series Star Wars 16 figures until 
go read my local Asda and they were five pound each and I saw R two D two and picked them up. And I just might pick everything else up. Stormtroopers and all that. Really cool. I just like it. and the fact that you don't have to pull this in out which means it's not going to break every time you pull it in and out. You just turn that there. Bring my leg back. Like so and then you can attach these again if you want to. Really cool. Again, sorry for not showing the box off. I've already explained that, so I think it is really cool. I'm just happy with really happy with this, especially five pounds is a pretty cheap price and all the incredible detail in it is, is brilliant. So yeah. If you see this, definitely pick it up if you're a, a Star Wars fan. Definitely pick this up. I haven't got any other Star Wars toys to show off um, with him, but once I get them, I'll show them off with him. That's really cool. So, you said text back and add to D2. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.